started off like Minnesota, it was very Christian and like we were a secular band from the start. So we just played with anybody to just get our name out there, travel with each other, to build a relationship with the people that actually gave a shit enough to go to the show, you know, when we were fucking no one. We formed in late 2007. Something was coming we didn't know, you know, and it was a big break for the genre. And now, like you see, it's all these bands are really starting to break into mainstream. Our older album, Cross Your Fingers, we used to write a lot of like story-based lyrics on Outspoken. You know, it was a lot of a lot of shit that David had to get off his chest, so he wrote a lot of the lyrics as well as the music. Yeah, I had a lot going on. I realized I had a lot of buried emotion stuff that was built up for a while. The emotions I was going through when I was writing Mark My Words were a lot of anger. This guy who was a part of my life a while ago, there's someone that basically you gave everything to and they took you for granted. Everyone has those people in their life and I really wanted people to be able to connect with that, you know. That one hit home for a lot of people. To anyone that's fucking done you wrong, you know, crossed you in the worst way, it's, it's for them, man. Those people, they don't get a fucking second chance. With our new album, Outspoken, like any artist, we wanted to grow and expand that fan base. And I think with what we do, using our formula as a band, it can only get bigger. It's genuine and um, very real. The emotions, I just look deep in myself. I'm like, what do you, what do you have going on in there, really, you know? And I'm really proud of that. And I think uh, that's a lot heavier and the kids will like it. The song Follow My Voice was a really important one for us to write on this album. It's not only just for all of our fans, but it's also for the ones that are really struggling with a lot of things in life. When I used to go to shows, I would go to like Norma Jean, Avenged Sevenfold. I always wanted to feel fucking welcomed by those bands, you know? Which I never got, to be completely honest. When I get to go and do that and make kids take a step back and go, whoa, this motherfucker's actually talking to me. That makes this shit all fucking worth it, you know? It made me you know, realize how thankful I am to be able to influence people's moods or attitudes. There was times in my life where I thought they were dark, but now I'm doing what I love. You just gotta keep your head up. So it's basically telling every kid, I was right where you are today. But there's always something, there's always hope. Always a liar, always a I think this album, Outspoken, has made our band so much stronger. As musicians, as brothers, I really think that it's a big new chapter for us. It helped me too, because it's the exact same feelings that you know we're all feeling basically at this point. Just a lot of hatred, a lot of anger, and a lot of issues. We cover a lot of it on our newest album. That's pretty much to sum up what Outspoken's about. You gotta let it out, you know, otherwise it's gonna eat you alive, and there's a lot of things in life that people let hold them down and control them and can't do that. You gotta be outspoken about stuff. What's alive?